Oh man, you know we gotta talk about this. just had their third party event and we need to talk about this but before we get started you already know give it a thumbs up broski thumbs up the video thumbs up like 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 all right now overall it was a good event there were some issues though the internet not too pleased and I think it had more to do with the expectations and how Microsoft framed the event. We're going to talk about every game. And I'm going to share my thoughts why, why I'm telling y'all I think it was a good event for Xbox. But the issue was they touted it as um, first gameplay of the Xbox Series X. And most of the trailers were CGI like um teasers and so it's more of a tease than actual gameplay footage and the internet didn't like it too too much that it wasn't more it wasn't focused more on gameplay but overall it was good and let's talk about why i think it was good and i'm gonna give it a final grade at the end of the video the first game shown bright memory and at this point, I'm like, oh, this is about to be it's an insane um, um, presentation. This game looked crazy, bro. It showed like the particle effects, the environment, um, and it start. It was this was just straight gameplay. There was no trailer, nobody talking. It just went right into gameplay. And if Xbox did this. What they did for Bright Memory, just go right into gameplay of every game shown. It would have, it would have been a completely different reaction uh, from the internet. But um, as you're going to see, a lot of the other games are going to be CGI trailers. But just off the jump, this game looked amazing. And what I heard everybody saying and telling me is, oh, Obi-Wan, this, um, this game was actually... A old um, PCE, a PC tech demo that never, um, that that's all it was, a tech demo. But the game obviously is in development for the Xbox Series X, and I not, I think I've heard like one or two people saying the game isn't gonna look like this. This is a PC game. I have to remind, dudes, I'm telling you, this generation, PC dudes are going to have their feelings hurt because they're no longer going to be able to say it's a PC game, bro. Consoles can't hang with us. Bro, I have to remind you. See, because a lot of PC dudes still have in their mind PC superior than consoles. Bro, when the Xbox Series X launches, it's going to be more powerful than over 90% of the PCs on the market right now. The game is going to look very similar, if not just like this, when it launches on the Xbox Series X. And so, the whole graphics argument, that's going to be thrown out the window. The only thing PC dudes are going to be able to say is 60 frames versus 400 frames or something like that. But... The, um, the Xbox Series X, just based on the specs of the um, console, it's going to be hanging with PCs. And like I said, two years down the road, more powerful Xbox console. It's going to keep up. So, um, bright memory. When I first saw this game, I was like, oh my goodness. This is going to be crazy. This is crazy. This game, this game just looked crazy, bro. The sword, um, the gun, and the sword action, just this was a perfect way to start 
the gameplay, <laughs> the gameplay presentation. And then, to Xbox credit, they went right into Dirt 2. I mean, not Dirt 2, <laughs> Xbox 360. Dirt 5, bro. Dirt, other than Forza, Dirt's my favorite racing game. The Dirt, Codemasters Dirt series, that's my favorite, bro. I like, I like off-road racing for some reason more than just um, regular street racing, bro. Sign me up day one for Dirt 5. And it has been confirmed the game is going to have 120 frames per second mode. And so right now, they killing it. I'm like, Microsoft, this is how you started off. So Dirt 5 looked dope. But even Dirt 5, if you notice, and this was the issue. Yes, this is more than likely in-game footage. But it wasn't just, like, this is how the game is going to look if you're playing the game. Behind the, behind the car, the HUD, like, gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. This was more of a teaser. And that was the issue. A lot of these trailers were just teasing us. And we didn't want to be teased. Y'all teased us with the launch of the console. And so, but Dirt 5 depends on when this launch compared to when Forza comes out. I'm going to be picking this up. The next game, and this is where question marks started to come up. The trailer looked dope. This is Scorn. The next game, Scorn. And I was like, wow. This also looks amazing. But there was no gameplay. And that's where the issue arose. No gameplay. This was just CGI trailer. CGI trailers is just for a hype. Like for, but for me, I want to see gameplay, man. And so this game looked good. Like when this thing started to move, I was like, whoa, this is looking dope. Um, but they didn't show any um, gameplay. And that's where people had an issue. Microsoft advertised it as the first gameplay of the Xbox Series X. And there wasn't enough gameplay, just teaser. The game looks dope, but I have no idea. what What is this? Is it going to be a third person? Is it going to be first person horror shooter? What What is it? Alien? What? What? It was a little vague. And so, no shooter. No gameplay. This next game. They showed gameplay, but just in glimpse. Bro, I'm hyped for this game called Chorus. Harkens to, I was getting a Star Fox vibe, bro. You see it? They're showing gameplay right there. Right there, they're showing gameplay, but then it cuts to CGI. And there was more CGI in this than gameplay. But it reminded me of Star Fox. Remind me of Star There's even, like, a sh for a split second, it shows the airplane doing a barrel roll. Um, pay, paying homage almost to Star Fox. This game chorus looks dope, and so it was a it was a mixture of genres. This game looked dope, chorus looked dope, but again, there you go. You saw the barrel roll. Um, um, this game looked dope. It looked dope, man. I'm a huge Star Fox fan, and so um, I'm here for this game, but more CGI than actual gameplay. And then Madden. I don't have anything much to say about Madden. Madden is going to be Madden. It's going to be a solid football game. But I want to see what NFL, uh, to what 2K is working on um, next year with their football franchise. And even then, the whole trailer was just about old Madden games. And then they showed Madden for like the last like two seconds or so. They barely showed any gameplay of Madden. So there was no gameplay, bro. Next... They didn't even need to have this in the presentation. This game looked like a PlayStation 2 game, bro. <laughs> I keep it a buck, bro. I don't care who you are. This game, um, the, the eh, ain't do it. This this didn't scream next gen for me, bro. The tra the whole trailer was off. Dancing, it was it was just now. Nah, this this could have been X X this from the presentation. I wasn't feeling this at all. And there was a reoccurring theme: horror games. There were a lot of horror games. There were a lot of horror games shown. A little, a little of a dark overall event, bro. So they had that. And then they had Call of the Sea reveal. Again, this game looked interesting. It looked dope. I like the art style. 
but it was vague. I didn't know what it was. What am I playing? What kind of game is this going to be? Is this a first person adventure game? Uh, we don't know. They just showed it was just a teaser. It was no gameplay, no actual gameplay in this trailer. And that was the issue. The next game, The Ascent, they did show gameplay. This game looked cool. <laughs> I thought this was Cyberpunk at first. And then they showed the gameplay. Sort of a top-down, isometric type game. It looked all right. This game looked all right. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Let me see if we can actually see. And again, here's the gameplay. Um, they, showed, they did show gameplay for this one. But... Um, this definitely isn't like a system seller or a reason to go out and buy Xbox Series X. This game, actually. The next game, The Medium. Again, another horror game. What's interesting about this is it's from the same um, developers who made um, Silent Hill, I think. A, a popular um, horror franchise. But I'm not a fan of horror games. So I'm not buying this game. I'm not getting this game. So this didn't really do anything for me. Scarlet Nexus. Which game was Scarlet Nexus again? Oh yeah, this was that Bandai Namco game. This looked dope. This actually looked dope. Um, I was getting a Bayonetta, um, Devil May Cry anime type vibe. And again, they showed a little bit of gameplay. You fighting flowers though, bro. Why are you fighting flowers? I hope that they explain it. But this game looked dope. This game did look dope. It was a dope game. This game did look did look cool. It looked cool. It looked cool. This um, next game, Second Extinction. This game looked fire as well. This reminded me of Turok. Turok 64 on the Nintendo 64. Hunting dinosaurs, bro. You're just fighting against um, dinosaurs. And it looked, they actually showed gameplay. They showed gameplay. Um, and so this game looked good. It looked dope. It looked dope. Earth has fallen. But you could tell this game is years out. Because they didn't show too many dinosaur types. They just showed like one kind of dinosaur, bro. Um, oh, no, they did. Oh, no, they just did show multiple. But this game looked cool. I'm getting Turok Dinosaur Hunt vibes. Uh, from this game, but it looked it looked real good. It actually looked real good. And then an all new Yakuza game, Yakuza Like a Dragon, was announced. The game looked a little rough, in my opinion. Um, I was ex I'm expected to be blown away by graphics, but here's the, the dilemma: we're not just the Xbox Series X, but also PlayStation Five. For the first two years or so, there's going to be a lot of cross gen overlap. They can't have the games just all looking crazy good and current gen owners because you got playstation 4 so close to 100 million consoles and people are still going to be playing their playstation 4s and the playstation 4 versions look like garbage so the developers are making games that will work on both platforms so this last generation is going to be holding next gen back for about two years or so until the adoption rate is is big enough to a developer because you could just focus on next gen but this yakuza game looked all right and this was supposed to be the highlight of the presentation and, and again the dilemma Assa assassin's creed valhalla don't get me wrong the game is probably gonna be dope amazing no gameplay no gameplay they should have like a, a scene where you're like one assassination mission or something where you're tracking down somebody and it shows you we are move sets your abilities there was none of that no gameplay heavy on cgi but the games that were shown again this were this was a third party event i think um what's going to con be convincing is their first party event microsoft had better knock it out the ballpark for the first party event or else i'm gonna be dusting off this bad <laughs> this bad boy let me stop um i have all the consoles so i want to see um, what they announce on uh, for their first party games interesting 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 to see um, what happens next but if I were to give this event a grade and I graded it in my live presentation this is what I would give the event a solid B minus um, I was hyped for the games that were shown but not enough gameplay man 
not enough gameplay and again for a third party event b minus if this was like microsoft's big blowout uh the first party just showing what to expect next for the xbox series x and this is all they've shown it probably been a d <laughs> But because of uh, it was tied to a third party event and there wasn't enough gameplay to warrant a A plus status. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about my thoughts of the Xbox, the inside Xbox event? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.